Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna talk about the delicata squash. So this is an interesting squash. We're gonna take a look at it in the garden and then come back and see what we can make with it. Right, this is the delicata squash. It kind of looks like um, a tiny little watermelon. You can see it's not even the size of my hand. It's kind of small. These are some little baby ones that had started forming, but I don't think they formed well because they look like they're turning yellow already. Um, but they might survive, we'll see. And then I have another one over here. It's a lighter color. Um, so once they turn from light to the darker green here, that means they are ready to harvest. So we're gonna harvest one and see what it looks like. It's squash. Delicata squash, I look like. Um, Kind of like a mango. It does, doesn't it? It's very interesting. It got really dark on this side. This side was on the ground, so it was more yellow. This is the inside. We have lots of seeds. I think we could, maybe we could use some of these seeds and plant some more. Mm -hmm. It looks a lot like a cross between a pumpkin and a squash, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Or in the, out in the inside, a mango, really. Yeah. And the smell of the like. grapefruit. Yeah, and it actually looks pretty healthy inside. I was surprised. All right, this is a lot like a pumpkin, where it's really hard to cut through like a pumpkin, and it's loaded with pulp and seeds. We got plenty of seeds just from this side um, and just the top here. But, yeah, lots and lots of seeds all the way down throughout this delicata squash. And we're going to bake it in the oven at 375 with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and see what it tastes like. In the meantime, we have hundreds of seeds. Oh my God, this is our roasted delicata squash. We're gonna give it a try, see if it's any good. All right. This is our delicata squash. We've never had it before. Um, it's kind of a cross between a pumpkin and a butternut squash, and it tastes kind of like a butternut squash to me. And it's crispy and chewy like a french fry. I baked them at 375 for 20 minutes, flipped them over, and baked them for 15 more minutes with just some olive oil and some salt and pepper. And they're not too bad. So I do recommend them. They're kind of a fun, neat squash to try. All right, Vince, try the delicata squash. It tastes like a sweet potato. Does it? Mm-hmm. Like a sweet potato french fry? Sweet potato french fry. Yeah. Really good. I like it. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed our delicata squash journey with us. We had never had one before, so it was interesting to see how they grew and what they tasted like. So give it a try. We think you might like it as well. We'll see you next time. Bye.